What's up guys, this is your Immortal Afro Josh, and welcome to the Immortal Afro channel. Today is Tuesday, and you know what that means, it's a little bit of a meh upload. And today I'm just going to be giving you my, my thoughts on the Xbox One, and how irrelevant that system is. Now, um, it's pretty sad, because uh, you know, I grew up on Xbox, you know, that, that was the first system, it wasn't the first system I played of course, you know. I've had the Genesis and the, the Nintendo, the regular Nintendo, the fat gray box, <laughs> the Dreamcast, the PlayStation, whatever. But uh, I'll say the Xbox is when I became oh, a, a terrible person. I became a fanboy. And I was defending that thing like it was actually the best thing that's ever happened. Which was, uh, which was pretty suspect because the only reason why I fell for the Xbox was because it reminded me of the Dreamcast. And... Boy, I I was a Dreamcast fag. If it was, if it was a Dreamcast, I was there. And the only reason why it translated to the Xbox, you know, at the time I didn't know any better because you know I knew it was a different system or whatever. But the uh, the button layout was the same, and I was like, this is the Dreamcast too, the spiritual successor to the Dreamcast. So I shall I shall worship this ver this this console because the Dreamcast died, but now it is back in the form of the Xbox. Uh, yeah, I was pretty shitty, but, uh, <laughs> well, I think we all had those moments, but, uh, yeah, the Xbox brand was, it's, it, it's faltering, it's dying, man, it's, it's becoming borderline irrelevant, and it's sad to see it, I think at this point they should call it the Windows 10 box, because it no longer has the thing that makes it relevant, and that thing is exclusives, no exclusives, and not anymore, especially since it pretty much became uh, the uh, a PC counterpart. You know, all their all of their exclusives are shared with PC. And you know what that means? Anything that runs on PC runs best. You know, of, co of course that's stretching it. Not everything, but in in this case, Xbox games, uh, assumably they run better. You know, now I haven't played any of the games on the uh, the Xbox uh, One. Or not, not one, but Xbox. Uh, not, ah. <laughs> I haven't played any games via Windows 10, and I have no intention to because uh, Microsoft kind of dropped the ball with the way that works. So, but that's that's for another video. I'm talking about Xbox right now. But the relevance of this console is diminishing rapidly, and I, I and no matter what I do, no matter what I think about, I can't I can't come up with a a valid reason to purchase. An Xbox One. I don't even care. I don't care the Xbox One S, the Xbox Scorpio, whenever that's supposed to come out. A stronger Box One. I think a better name for this thing would be called the Xbox Y, because if you have the option of building a comp uh, building a PC that can run games miles better than anything that console can produce, as well as all the benefits of it being a PC, what's the point of the Xbox? Now the PlayStation 4, that that is a good console, especially now. It wasn't a good console upon release. Then again, you know, no console is. But the games on the PlayStation 4 are rolling out in a way that is unbelievable. I think in this year alone, 2017, there's been like five, uh, uh, <laughs> um, five exclusive titles that I yeah, you'd have to be a fool to miss, like uh. Neo, Yakuza Zero, Horizon Zero Dawn, and uh, Gravity Rush 2, to name a few. Like, all games I bought, all games I am currently playing, all games so far are are fun, especially Yakuza. That shit is dope, but <laughs> not to get off topic. The, uh, the, purpose, the purpose of the PlayStation, the PlayStation 4 has purpose. The Sony's console has extreme purpose, and after purchasing one, I can I can safely say I am I am happy with my purchase like I am having a blast with my PlayStation 4 and I can't I, don't, I can't fathom saying the same about an Xbox one because I mean not only are all the games available on PC it it just doesn't seem it doesn't seem like it's a worthy worthy investment you know normally when you but when you buy games now, you have to look at it as uh, as an investment. And 
seeing as how I made a hefty investment on my PC, it's, it was becoming really difficult for me to even consider buying a console. You know, that is until Sony started, you know, showing some exclusives. Because, you know, let's be honest here, con the only... The only way a console is going to be re uh, relevant is if they have exclusives, because basically they're just underpowered computers, and you know, who wants one of those when you can have something better? But the thing that's selling a PlayStation 4 right now, in my opinion, are the exclusives, and these games are, you know, these are games you can't get on the PC, at least not right now. Anyway, I keep hearing rumors about PlayStation Now, which I think is also kind of weak. It's dumb. I wouldn't pay money for a subscription based service like that because you know I don't I don't own those games and I'm pretty sure there are going to be restrictions but anyway that's a different that's a different story uh but bottom line exclusives are what sell the consoles not the in my opinion not the uh the gimmicks that the console has like you know Xbox's initial uh thing with TV like I don't fucking watch TV I watch the internet and I already have that so the it's dumb. You know, YouTube is my primary source of entertainment. Now, of course, if you're like big on that, yeah, then it's good for you. I'm not saying you're a fool for getting it. I'm not saying you're, you know, a fool for owning one because you had your reasons upon purchase. But for for gaming, for the gamers, like I'm having a hard time con uh, conceiving a uh, a thought that can support the purchase of a uh, Xbox One. And uh, that's pretty bad, especially with the the X the Microsoft's console's legacy. The, uh, the the original Xbox, the OG Xbox, was I think a a good starting point for Microsoft because that game had exclusives out the ass. Like it it had exclusives like nobody's business to a level like the and and that's what's sad. You know, Microsoft's uh, they had they had tons of games throughout the the xboxes you know multiple life cycles like the first one had plenty of exclusives the 360 while it didn't have much it was a it was a damn good gaming system it was it was for gaming i don't know what the hell this xbox one is here for it, it seems to have lost its uh its flair because the the thing that made it uh different or not different but unique that made it a must have was was the games and now that that's gone which is uh it's 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 pretty bad that's that's no good man the uh like i said the og xbox had tons of games i loved uh phantom phantom dust oh my god that's a whole another fucking discussion i'm pissed about microsoft oh my god just reminds me yeah anyway there was phantom dust there was Odo G. I think that's how you pronounce it. That was a damn good game. Very action-packed. wonder why they haven't considered talking with Sega to, you know, revive that IP. They had Break Project Breakdown. I believe that's a uh, another exclusive that was on the Xbox with Namco. Uh, what else did they They had Panzer Dragoon, Orta. One of my favorite games. A beautiful game. Uh, and now, thinking, now that I think about it, you know, Microsoft had like, a lot of uh, deals with Sega. And... I I guess I can understand how those would have kind of fallen through over the years, but at, on that same note, I think they, I think you know Microsoft, they're they're a very very rich and powerful company. They are a bill, multi billion dollar company. I don't understand why they can't, you know, set aside a couple of billion just for the sake of, uh, gaming. You know, put it towards creating some new IPs, some new exclusives that aren't fucking shooting games. <laughs> Jeez, like the shooter box, <laughs> or what do they call them, dude bro games? <laughs> like uh, Gears of War, like how many Gears games are there, like six? Oh my god, like oversaturation of shooting games. They need to drop that completely. But uh, they just, they need to uh, take a few pages, take a few uh, scripts and plays out of us, uh, Sony's playbook. You know, Sony, uh, if you look at these exclusives, none, of, not one of these games are similar not one i mean it's 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 mind-boggling and microsoft's just over here sitting on their asses doing nothing and it's it's sad to see i'm like i'm just looking around like geez look at sony is mopping the floor <laughs> i mean they were killing them since the beginning but now it's just like man what what's what's an xbox what's the purpose of an xbox like is, it just exists 
And, you know, every day I'm seeing my friends who had one just trade it in because, like, dude, there's nothing, there's nothing to do on this thing. You got this big old black gray VCR sitting in my room with nothing. It's just taking up space, collecting dust. I as well get rid of it. And I'm, I'm thinking the value is only going to drop. You know, they were talking about Xbox Scorpio. I'm like, you guys need to be doing Xbox uh, games. Some games, man. Like, I know you guys want it to be an all-in-one, you know, system for TV or whatever. But obviously, that that plan did not fall through. So, I don't know if they're still hanging on to that for some reason. If they are, that's pretty dumb. But it, if not, I think they should, uh, yeah, wrap that up and get to making some games, man. Because uh, Sony is leagues ahead of you. Like, there, there is no recovery for from this, uh, from a beatdown of this magnitude. But there is a chance for you guys to maintain your relevance, which uh, is something you should be <clears throat> stepping on, you know, getting to Microsoft. I don't know how I feel about the move towards PC, but I don't see how that helps you. Because if anything, that's just going to strengthen the PC community which uh, that, that reminds me like matter of fact no i take that back that would have been better if they had uh approached it the right way the first time instead of trying to accommodate accommodate space within the pc community by locking shit to their new os windows 10 that that's stupid and i <laughs> it's such a shame because there are so many there are so many uh, times I thought to myself, like, man, if that came out on Steam, I would totally buy it. And it didn't. And I'm like, oh, it's locked to Windows 10? Why don't they just sell it on Steam? You know, they won't be making all the money, but they will be making money. Because I, I imagine the amount they will make through Steam is more than what they would make on Windows 10. Especially with that, at the time, the OS, I don't know how much the, the Windows 10 has stabilized. I don't know how much better it is. But compared to 7, as far as I can remember, it was trash when it came to running games. And because, you know, every any anything new that comes out, does it doesn't work. Not not that well, anyway. Especially in the PC uh, you know, market where, you know, there's so many different setups and configurations with, you know, downloaded software. Of course, it's going to have some, you know, some mix ups. But you know, I heard enough crap about Windows 10 to not want to have anything to do with that. But, uh, yeah, I thought it would have been smart if they had just opened up their platform, you know, made have the games be available on the, you know, on Windows 7, since it was, like, the most played, you know, software thing. I know, like, they were making a Windows 10 free, which was cool and all, until they started shoving it in our face. But, that's another topic for another day. Wow, it's just, it just goes into so much stuff. But, uh, yeah, long story short, I, the Xbox, uh, I, I believe it, if this isn't the last Xbox Microsoft makes, as far as, you know, being in the console, uh, ring, I, I can't imagine them going on much longer. The Xbox One, while it may not have been a complete and total failure, it was still a, a, a pretty huge failure in my book. Especially now when there are there is no reason to uh that I can think of have an Xbox One. And uh that's sad, man. Like I would I would uh, recommend it to anybody. Get a PlayStation four. Like if you don't have a PC, get you a PS four because the amount of exclusives on that con on that system will be more than enough to justify the purchase, especially, you know, with the price dropping since the Pro is out. So, yes, the PlayStation 4 is definitely worth picking up this time around. Xbox One, uh, save your money, <laughs> because unless you're into, you know, having a, an expensive doorstop or a dust collector, I don't see the uh, purpose behind owning one of those consoles. Sad, sad days, but... Uh, yeah, guys, those are my thoughts on the uh, the Xbox One. It's pretty much the reason why I didn't get one. Of course, the original original reason was because of the uh, the way the game the system was uh, uh, marketed upon release when it first came out. Yeah, nobody was having that shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, those are just my thoughts on it. Of course, I hope things uh, would change for the best because uh, the more the more systems and you no know, consoles that there are on the market that 
you know, usually that means that are that it's more ga- there are more games. You know, PlayStation has a direct competitor, but since it's become so one-sided, I don't. Uh, it's not looking good. I would definitely have a. I would definitely uh, own a PS4 over an Xbox One. I hope Microsoft. Uh, I hope they just sit down and think about something. I hope they come up with a, a a valid solution, something that can really turn this whole issue around. Because that thing is a uh, uh, <laughs> a wasted investment. Wouldn't put any money towards that thing at all. But guys, yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to me ramble for, geez, what is it, 15, 16 minutes? Yeah, need to cut this gen off. Yeah, thanks for listening. Listen, <laughs> thanks for listening. These are going to be the type of videos I upload on my, you know, kind of off days until the, the big juicy bits come in on uh, Thursday and Saturday. But yeah. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for those uh, future uploads. And again, I'm your mortal afro, Josh. Thanks for listening. Have a good one.